Rotational RDO. So set up in a B stance, AKA one foot behind the other and a half a step to the side with that toe pointed out just slightly. We're doing a contralateral hold here. So the dumbbell is in the opposite hand of the leg that is forward. So for example, if you're working your right leg, right legs forward, the dumbbell's gonna be in your left hand. So before you initiate the movement, roll your shoulders back and down with a slight bend in the standing leg. Think about 80% of the weight in your front leg and about 20% in your supporting back leg. Now, send your ass backwards while simultaneously letting the dumbbell fall towards your front foot. Note, I didn't say reach toward the front foot. We're not reaching. Your hip should turn towards your front leg and you should feel a stretch on the top part of your front foot glute. Your shoulders should lower at the same pace as your hips pressing back. If you're noticing it's just your shoulders lowering, you probably lowered too far down and now the tension is in the low back rather than the glutes and the hamstrings. Again, hips and shoulders should move at the same pace. So if you wanna go lower, you'll have to press your hips back farther. Don't think about this movement as a twisting movement or twisting with the arm per se, or reaching your arm to get your foot. Rather, think about pressing the front foot hip back to do the twisting. Make sure your chin is tucked the entire time. If you're having a hard time keeping a flat back, it can be helpful to imagine pinching a piece of paper underneath your armpits. Okay, so quick summary, pretending you're working your right leg. Right leg is forward, dumbbells in the left hand. Roll your shoulders back and down. Press your hips back at the same pace as your shoulders lowering. Twisting slightly through the hips to get a stretch in that right upper glute, letting the left hand fall towards the right foot. Your chin is tucked and you press through the right heel to stand.